Alrighty, welcome back guys. In the previous video, we started setting up this case. I'm pretty happy with it so far, kind of making on the go. And I wanted to check out this soldering iron. This is the PX988U. Now, this is one that I haven't seen much online about. It's got stickers all over it, but uh, 10 watt, 5 volt, uh, 800 series stainless steel heater, but it looks like, like a lot like the TS-800 type thing, except much cheaper. Um, I'm a huge fan of this style, these non-temperature controlled. These things are, these are just great. But for this case, I thought we'd give this a try. And uh, yeah, let's take it out of the box. This episode brought to you in part by PCB Way. Check them out at the link below for your next electronics project. They offer competitive rates for all PCBs, parts, and assembly, as well as 24-7 tracking of your order from start to finish. Now, you're gonna look at it for the first time with me. I've never taken this out. I wanted to give it a kind of proper introduction on camera and see how it goes. So sure enough, it's got one of these little tiny tip systems in it. Slides in with purchase. Uh, yeah, seems to be connected. Uh, not much to it. Uh, PX988U, and we've got some buttons. It feels, it feels cheap. <laughs> it feels really cheap, but uh, that's kind of to be expected because this is a pretty low price unit. Okay, power's on, temperature 50 to 480, blah, blah, blah. Bunch of warnings. Yeah, not much of interest. What I do keep in this case is one of these RAV power uh, lithium ion battery packs. It looks like it needs to be charged. But we'll turn that on. This has got um, a wireless file server and stuff built into it, which is pretty cool. This doesn't come with anything to set this on but it seems to live okay on the counter, so I guess that'll be all right. Um, you, those little cheap ones come with a El Cheapo stand, so uh, down in there is our power port. Hmm. Well, that felt good. Connected okay, no problem there, so we'll see. I don't know, is it gonna work? Let's find out. I saw a brief flash of life. Maybe my pack went turned off. Come on. I think this is my power supply. Might actually be drawing too much for this power supply. Hmm. Well, that is not good. Let's try. Can tip out. Well, a couple of brief flashes of life, and then it was gone. Try a different one. All right, we got my bigger unit here. Let's see if that makes it any happier. Yeah, sure does. All right, so I guess this particular unit doesn't like to play. Uh, so that's probably not good to be doing that with no tip in there. I guess it's not gonna hurt anything. It's just open circuit. Let's plug that in. Try that again. On. And <laughs> Interesting, but okay, so setting and then it died. All right, we're still alive. There's 330. Let's max it right out. And I think this tip is too far in. I 
wondered whether it was down past the contacts. It felt like it shouldn't be shoved that far. Hmm, not looking good. We are set for 385. Oh, there, it's warming up now. Yep, that's getting hot. Well, that was a little kerfuddly. Um, hmm. Hmm. It's hot. Interesting. We're only set for 400, but it had already overshot. And now we're kind of all over the place. So is it perhaps not actually temperature controlled? <laughs> uh, well, it might be okay. It might be just because it's just, there's no thermal mass on there. Let's try soldering with it. So what we've got, I've got a little Wemos D1 Mini here. I think that should do the trick to have a little quickie test with. Um, let's stick this in a breadboard. Let's give it a go. Uh, iron I can smell now pretty strong. It's it's it smells like hot <laughs> new equipment. <laughs> it smells like it's burning off some some manufacturing oils or something. That's, I won't have the best camera angles here. I apologize. This is the best I can do right now. I'm mobile and not at home in the lab. So, but I, I wanted to keep playing around with things and bringing you guys some content. Um, that needs to be one pull further over. Alrighty, I'll do the best with the camera that I have here. It's not great, but let's see. Well, it melts solder. That's a good start. And let's see, 470. It seems about right. It's I actually seemed fine. Well, what do you know about that? That worked just fine. This solder is poor. Um, that's why it ended up in uh, my go bag, so to speak here. That is working just fine. That, I know this is a bad, bad camera for this. This is the best I've got, guys. That soldered just A-OK. -okay. That, that worked fine. Uh, mind you, it's a tiny pin. <laughs> it's not exactly any thermal mass there. The temperature is sort of bouncing around all over the place, but I would say it's pretty close. I would say it's over 400 C. It feels uh, that by the speed that that goes. It's, yeah, I'd say we're fine. That, let's try another couple pins. Let's see how we do. Come on. Yeah, I dragged it down just a tiny bit, but part part of that was this this solder is really quite poor. But there, you can tell it it did seem to temperature compensate a little bit. It seemed to kick up, but well, time will tell. We're gonna have to use it. Right now, I I don't see much difference between this and these like five dollar ones. To be honest, I don't think the temperature control truly is there. I think this is a nicer tip. I like that, but I well, maybe the temperature control is there. This that seems pretty good. That's soldering really nice, actually. That's that's not bad. That is not bad, but that is a pretty easy device to solder. So uh, for portable, for the case, 
I'd say we've got a winner here. Um, I think it was just about 20 Canadian dollars for this when I got it. I'll post a link down below and you guys can try one out yourself if you like. Um, I think the TS series is probably a little bit better way to go. A little bit more money though. But uh, yeah, for a cheapie, uh, we'll give it a go. For all we need it for, for things like this when we're on the road, I think it'll be fine. Cheers guys, good luck in all your projects.